It's, I mean, it blows Com- my mind. Components of the sun, com- whole food light that is not present with indoor light. Yeah. You know, and yet we are told to fear the sun, right? So, you know, you look at mainstream dermatology, it is not fine to, it's not hard to find a dermatologist who says, no tan is, no tan is healthy tan. Like zero tans are healthy. Don't go in the sun at all. So you think like how many of our population are micronutrient deficient, but we are also light deficient, yeah. right? We're infrared light deficient. And I think there's an argument to be made that ultraviolet light from the sunlight is balanced somewhat by infrared light. Of course. Yeah. So it, they never occur in isolation. And why do you think we have life on earth? I mean, it's a perfect, ba- <laughs> I mean, it's not rocket science. It's like, crazy. It's like we have the perfect amount of whole light coming in. It's exactly why we can have life on this, you know, yep. third rock from the sun. Super right? important. Yep. It's super important. So and all that, so that, yeah, I think about all those things before I go to sleep and the light environment is critical and the flicker. And you mentioned something else that's kind of interesting. And it's one thing that I have noticed independent of macronutrients. Okay. So is, and I don't even like to use the word calories in this case, but just my, my intake for the day. That is one thing you mentioned, uh, protein, I guess maybe I could notice it if I'm low in protein that, that could cause the same blood sugar, sugar dip where mm-hmm. I kind of wake up in the middle of the night, like feeling a little wonky, but there, there's all these different variables that I've tried to isolate. Like I notice, like on days when I have long filming days that I just don't sleep as well that night. And first it's just like, okay, is it just the lights in my face? Probably right. that check. Is it the fact that I'm not outdoors as much check? 